Mr. Investor. Welcome back to the channel, baby. Mm -hmm. You're gonna love what I got for you today. So let's take a sneak peek at what I'm gonna be delivering today. We're gonna be talking about our favorite stock, Bionano Genomics, ticker symbol BNGO, a few little partnerships in the loop, and the most recent partnership is with a cancer charity. We'll talk about the Bionano Knight, Joe Butler, who managed to sell this latest Sapphire machine, and we're gonna be exploring what other tech they're using. Some other tech actually being Illuminus tech. Oh, we're gonna be talking about Illuminus UK contracts. Some politics back in August where people were being investigated about contracts. Politics. Then let's talk about BioNanogenomics connection to Illumina. We will speak about why BioNanogenomics Sapphire system is so useful to some of the technology that Illumina has. And then I want to finish up by showing you the market size of the genomic industry within the UK. If you're new around here, welcome partner. My name is Miguel and we look for big juicy growth stocks. We've been covering BioNanogenomics because I believe there is so much potential for this company. Within the last year, it was like a rocket ship hit in December. It was trading around about the 50 cent mark and it went all the way up to to $15.69 and if you time this right it was 3,000%. There you go. <sighs> Please remember, none of this is financial advice. It's for entertainment only. And if you want to support the channel, you can send a donation via PayPal in my description box below. Or you can join channel memberships. It's only 99 cents per month. There's different tiers and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. But if you're unable to send donations, just you hitting the like and subscribe is enough for me. Thank you so much for your love and support and drop me some comments below. Now let's get into this video, baby. So first things first, bio nano you know, has gone down from $15.69 over into the $5 mark. It was actually $4.50 at one point. I think back in May, we saw $4.41. And the three analysts that have rated Bio Nano Genomics are all saying it's a strong buy. They said within the next 12 months, there's a potential upside. This is on average of 133%. So they believe it's going to reach 12 with the highest prediction believing it's going to reach 14 within the next 12 months. Now, recently, we've seen Richard Shippey. This guy is the chief business officer of Bio Nano Genomics. They call this man the shipster. And you can see here he was actually part of Illumina before he also founded Cradle Genomics and now he's the chief business officer over at Bingo. Over on his Instagram stories he has announced that they're partnering with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society to bring light to the darkness of cancer. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is actually a charity and it was born out of a family's grief following the death of their teenage son. This good gentleman was only 16 when he quickly succumbed to leukemia in 1944. There was a lack of effective treatments at the time and they saw leukemia as a hopeless disease. So his parents Parents Rudolf and Antoinette started a fundraising and education organization in their son's name. Back then in their annual report, the foundation said that as of this date, leukemia is 100% fatal. This was in 1955. Now that charity has become the world's largest voluntary non-profit health organization dedicated to funding blood cancer research. And they've actually put in and invested $1.3 billion into cancer research. And apparently since 2017, they've helped 85% of blood cancer treatments approved by US. FDA. And if you go to their website, you can see the breakdown of how much they've committed into research into each category. So leukemia, $65 million, lymphoma, $73 million, myeloma, $31 million. So the question is with bio nanogenomics, how are we partnering with them? What are we partnering on? If we're partnering on research and they've invested $1.3 billion already in research for cancer, not only can we help with the discovery of cancer, we could probably help within the treatment if we can find certain biomarkers or help people get early diagnosis. So my question is, will Leukemia and Lymphoma Society be giving some cash to BioNanogenomics for some research purposes? Will they be funding projects using the Sapphire system? I don't know, baby. So you let me know. Tell me what your thoughts and feelings are here. The next thing I want to show you is one of the more recent tweets from Richard Chippy. He retweeted this tweet from the NHS Northeast and Yorkshire Genomics. We sold the machine to these guys via the man of the hour, Joseph Butler, the Nano Nozzle Knight. He's actually the sales manager in the UK. You can see here on his LinkedIn, it says that he looks after the the whole of UK and Ireland selling instrumentation and consumables in a clinical setting and also research. So the recent tweet is they're happy, you know, they started a collaboration on October 20th and then they've said what they're going to be looking into. October 21st, they said that BioNanogenomics is offering the promise of replacing multiple existing genetic tests with a single test workflow. So this means imagine karyotyping, CMA and fish. Could they be using optical genome mapping to study structural variations and replacing all of their traditional methods? We love Joseph Butler over here and he also shared a personal tweet. He said 35 years ago when he was born, his grandmother was diagnosed with chronic myeloid leukemia, CML. And this was by the Yorkshire Genetic Service. She died when I was 14, an amazing effort in my eyes. Today, that same service is evaluating bio nanogenomics tech to help others like her. 
poetic. For me, this is amazing. Well done to the UK sales manager, Joseph Butler. Imagine he's managed to sell a Sapphire system to help others to help them get early diagnosis. And this is the same service that helped diagnose his grandma. So it could be helping a lot of people, helping them get early diagnosis and potentially saving their lives. They covered the whole of this northeast and Yorkshire region with their genomic laboratory hub. This is the map of the UK. You can see here, they're the yellow. Now, in terms of services, I wanted to see what they were offering and to see if there's any connections. If you take a look at their genomic laboratory hub services, you'll see whole genome sequencing here. And for whole genome sequencing, there's a service now available for patients that are eligible. And this is for rare disease and cancer. But hold on, big daddy, who's running it? If we scroll down, we can see that they are using whole genome sequencing at Illumina. Illumina is a huge company. It's actually, I believe Illumina is the creme de la creme. It is the beast in the industry at the moment for genomics. You can see here it's included in the top 10 clinical genomic companies alongside Perkin Elmer. Illumina is huge. And in 2020, they had an annual revenue of $3.2 billion. They have 17,000 sequencing systems that are active and installed. Now let's take a look at their UK contracts. So within the past year, we went over to a website called BidStats and we searched UK Illumina contracts. You can see some contracts range from even just the 60,000 pound mark all the way down to 28,000 pounds. But as you scroll down, you can see some of them are awarded a near million. And if you scroll further down, it gets over a million, 1.4 million here, awarded, 2.3 million, awarded. And these are pounds, baby. And you can also see that one of the big boy contracts in England is this 10 billion one and it's one of 19 suppliers awarded. They also got awarded some 10 million pound contracts in May 2021. Going back further there's a big breakdown of suppliers. There's 112 suppliers who won a 3 billion pound contract. 69 suppliers for a 1.5 billion pound contract. Some of these contracts are for diagnostic goods and services. Others are for research. But you get the gist. Basically they're managing to sell their sequencing platforms and sequencing systems as well as pick up these massive contracts contracts. In total, there are 71 notices in the past year. And just in August 2021, there was a huge amount of controversy. This was involving David Cameron. He was the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. He's known as a British politician, businessman, lobbyist and author, serving as the Prime Minister between 2010 and 2016. So now this man was being investigated for a letter that he wrote. You see, Illumina won a £123 million deal after David Cameron wrote a letter to Matt Hancock. Here it states on the times.co.uk that David Cameron's employer secured a £123 million genetic sequencing contract after the former Prime Minister lobbied Matt Hancock to attend the genomics conference. Cameron is a paid advisor to Illumina, a US biotech company that provides genetic sequencing services that can be used to screen DNA for genetic illnesses. So who is Matt Hancock? Matthew John David Hancock is a British politician who served as Secretary of State for health and social care from 2018 to 2021. He lost his job after being naughty frisky, breaching coronavirus restrictions, and pictured getting jiggy with it, ending in a resignation. He made a tweet just minutes ago about the Chancellor deciding to spend billions on digitalizing the NHS. Matt, go away, no one likes you. How's your new job? Oh wait, yes, he was fired again. But the main point is here that Illumina won this 123 million pound contract and they also have this deal with Genomics England to partner and deliver whole genome sequencing for England's NHS genomic medicine service. So where does Bingo fit into all of this? Whole genome sequencing is coming to the UK. They believe that in the future, all newborn babies Babies are also going to be screened using this. If you guys don't know who Genomics England are, they're a British company set up and owned by the UK Department of Health and Social Care to run these 100,000 genome projects. This is particularly focused on NHS patients with a rare disease and their families and also patients with cancer. At the beginning of 2020, Genomics England and Illumina announced that they're going to deliver 300,000 whole genome equivalents over the next five years, but there's also an option to increase to 500,000. Got another study, another article for you published in September this year, and it's talking about the application of full genome analysis to diagnose rare monogenic disorders. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see even whole genome sequencing WGS, which provides provides up to 9% additional diagnostic yield compared to exome sequencing cannot detect all structural variants, especially duplications, inversions and translocations. It can't create chromosomal maps or provide phasing information. And if you scroll down, you see here they talk about newly developed long DNA sequencing and mapping technologies can help solve the problem of incomplete genome analysis. Here they use link read sequencing technology and optical mapping to produce 
full genome analysis. And who did they use here? Bionanogenomics optical mapping. So will Bionanogenomics be able to get part of the contract with Illumina? Will Illumina be using the Bionanogenomics Sapphire system to offer their customers full genome analysis? Because what Bionanogenomics is offering for structural variations is no structural variations can hide within Cytopia. This machine can detect missing pieces of the puzzle. In Cytopia, structural variants have nowhere to hide. So most people will be saying, yeah, but where's the connection to Illumina? Remember, as of December 31st, this is a SEC filing. In 2020, Illumina made up 17% of the accounts receivable balance. Yep, they owe us shmoney. But it's not even about the money owed here. What's interesting is they're utilizing and using the machine. So are they going to be offering a service where they're using, you know, Illumina's short read sequencing or whole genome sequencing alongside Bio Nanogenomics Sapphire system to give their customers the full service? Because as mentioned in that Nature article, the exome sequencing and whole genome sequencing cannot detect all structural variants. I'm estimating this is not financial advice that we've sold around about 14 or 15 machines in this quarter. Back in 2020, November 24th, we have this contract with Belfast Health and Social Care Trust. There's not many contracts available to see on bid stats for Bionanogenomics, but I believe with Illumina experimenting with the machine and Bionanogenomics having this blue ocean, they believe that they're alone in addressing structural variations and digital cytogenetics. This piece of the pie could get a whole lot bigger. If we're able to shift as many as 10,000 Sapphire systems, we could probably shift some more, especially if we get in with Illumina and they have 17,000 active sequencing systems installed. They have a lot of customers already. They have the majority of contracts in the UK or they're a piece of that contract and they're one of the suppliers. We could see a massive amount of adoption if we see Perkin Elmer adopt the machine for whole genome optical mapping, which they've already launched here. See, they're utilizing whole genome optical mapping to accurately detect FSHD. What about when Illumina wants to explore some of these comprehensive structural variations and digital cytogenetics? Illumina has pieces of the pie already and will they want to use Bionanogenomics to get more of the pie and offer full services to their customers. So now why Bionanogenomics? Bionanogenomics is one of the global optical genome mapping market leaders. You can see here them, Nabsys, are one of the biggest players in the game and they're saying that there's going to be a compounded annual growth rate that is going to be huge for optical genome mapping market, especially over the next five years. One of the driving factors is going to be for new drug development and treatments. The drug discovery and development market is absolutely huge. This is predicted to reach about 85, 86 billion by 20 2026. But if you're looking long term into the future, genomics is the future. And this is going to be key for healthcare around the world and for so many different industries, even agriculture. But I want to show you an analysis. This is by uh, the UK Bio Industry Association. And I'll show you exactly how much they expect the genomics industry in the UK to be worth. So if we scroll down here, they've got a document called Genomics Nation released July 2021. It talks about the size and strengths of the UK genomics sector. Let's go to the quick roadmap. So if we scroll all the way down, I believe it's on page number six and they talk about the key takeaways so if we scroll down here you'll see currently it's a five billion dollar plus market cap and the uk genomics sector is a projected market cap to be over 50 billion pounds by 2040 so to summarize we've got this new partnership with a charity that has invested 1.3 billion dollars into cancer research we've sold a machine to one of these really important genomic laboratory hubs talking about optical genome mapping at the potential and promise of replacing multiple existing genetic tests with this one single test workflow. We spoke all about these Illumina contracts and Illumina owing us 17% of our accounts receivable balance, which means they are utilizing and playing around with Bionanogenomic Sapphire system. We looked at uh, whole genome sequencing Illumina's contracts in the UK, but also how whole genome sequencing cannot detect all structural variants. So it requires some long range technology and how bingo is in a blue ocean of its own. So let me know your thoughts and feelings. Tell me if you think I'm right. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. Remember, none of this is financial advice. It's for entertainment only. And if you like this video, please hit me with the thumbs up, click subscribe, drop me some comments. And if you want to support the channel, please drop me a donation. My PayPal link is in the description box below. I love you guys. Thank you for all of your love and support. And I'll catch you in the next video. Mr. Investalot over and out, baby.